Hi, I'm Inherit Jones at the Urban Craft Center in Santa Monica, California, and I'm here to show you how to mod podge a unity candle for your wedding. So uh, to start with, you want to pick out a nice sized pillar candle with some nice straight sides. You don't want any sort of decoration or anything to get in the way of your Mod Podging. And then you want to print out um, your names or whatever it is you want the Unity candle to say, whatever image you want. And you want to use a nice high quality um, printer. And then you want to get your Mod Podge, which is um, a decoupage glue. And I do recommend Mod Podge, it's a really good one and a sponge brush. And you're gonna start out, decoupage glue, is, um, uh, you start out by actually applying a layer onto what you're decoupaging first, rather than putting it on your image. And you spread a sort of even layer on your candle, and you take your image and you put it in place, and then you mod podge over the top. And you want a nice even layer. And you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to create any bubbles or shift your image too much. So you spread it nice and thin and you leave it to dry. And if you wanted to do it all the way around, you could do the whole thing with, uh, with your images. If there's at any point you've noticed that a bubble forms, just go ahead and um, slick it down with your finger a little bit. And if it turns out that you feel like there's um, you know, spots that you miss, you can always just go back and Mod Podge a little more over the top. And the different Mod Podges have different finishes. This is a matte finish, and you can get one that's glossy and one that has a little sparkle in it. So depending on what your Unity candle wants, uh, what you want your Unity candle to look like, you might choose a different finish for it. So I'm Inherit Jones at the Urban Craft Center in Santa Monica, California. Happy crafting!